Hey guys, Destiny Jewels here today and today I'll be showing you my entire baby collection. I know I haven't uploaded in quite a while but it doesn't mean I haven't stopped collecting. I've been collecting off camera and it's time to show you my new baby collection. So yeah, first I'll start with the original plastic Beyblades, then the Mount Fusion Beyblades, then some of my Zoji Bays, and then my Beyblade Burst collection to finish it off. So yeah, let's get this started. Box number one. First we have is Burning Cerberus. Next we have another Burning Cerberus. Then we have Jusil G. Then we have Dronza S. Fortunately, one of them. No, never mind. This Dronza S, I mean, has the one that's broken. This is Sonokong. Next we have Dronza F. This time we have a Master Jiggle. About the bit piece and without missing the clip. Next we have Jugger V2 with a customized bit piece with Ray on it. Pretty really sweet if you say so myself. Next we have is Gasly. It's got three rotating whatever it is. Pretty nice. Next we have is Griffin. However, it's got a John's F base. Next we have is Dragoon F with a yellow base which looks kind of odd. Now we have Drasil F. This is a Sonic Kong version, that's why it looks kind of light. And here is the Drasil S of Sonic Kong, I believe. And then we have a Drasil Metal Ball Defense, or MBD for short. This is by Hasbro. Next we have is Jada Dragoon G, or Guy Dragoon G, whatever you like. This is Hasbro. Next we have is um, Zeus. Unfortunately, it's a fake one by TH, T Hongli, whatever they're called. Here we have is a Strata Dragoon V, really worn out, but it's still usable. Here we have is a Y Borg by Hasbro, got this new box, I remember. Next we have is Baltic 8 without the black disc because it's been used on another bay, which I'll show in a minute. Here we have is just Seal V, however, it's kind of broken. Look, it's got a free rotating foam stick, which should not be the case, it's missing the metal balls. Here we have is Drago F. As you can see, it's pretty worn out, but still, the base is pretty good, so yeah, I don't mind the condition. Here we have is a special edition Dragoon V. As you can see, it's silver, which kind of looks metallic, but mm, it looks sick. Here we have the Dragoon G. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition. I got this recently, and it's the Hasbro version. Here we have is <laughs> Seaborg, but it's missing space. Yeah. I think I'm using the clips for another bay, can't remember. And yes, here's the base that is actually missing. Here we have the Nola Strata Dragoon G. As you can see, this is my Takara version. I got this a long, long time ago. And that's why it's pretty worn out. Here we have is what's the name again? Trigo. This is the blue Hasbro version. Just get the jump. Nice. Here we have is Warbog. I believe it's the first ever Warbog. It's got three rotating corner step. Basically, it's the Phantom Orion of the old Beyblade. Here we have is a Sonokong Dronza V. In pretty good condition because I don't really use this base for battling, just for collecting. Here we have is Galleon. And if you can notice, it's actually a little bit broken here, because it should be like a longer here. But yeah, obviously it's like this, I didn't, I didn't make it damaged. And it's also missing a clip, which I try to cover in black, so it can blend in. Here we have is another Baltic Ape. It's also missing the black disc, being used for surfing barrel. Next we have is a limited edition Drigger S that came with a certain case, I'll be showing you in a minute. And yeah, here we have is a Dragoon G, Wuna version, Takara. Another Warburg one, probably in better condition than the previous one. And here we have is Dronza V2. So yeah, this has the black disc from Bolt 8, one of, one of the bays. 
And it looks pretty good with the black gears. I bought this from... I got the box for this, it's the Cora. Here we have the Seaborg. And this is the one with the clips. Good condition. Here we have another Jigger V2, but this time it's got the big piece. But it's also kind of worn out. Here we have the Jigger V. It's in decent condition, if I say so myself, but the base is where it lacks. Surprisingly, I have another John's V2. I did not know I had two of these, that's pretty cool. And here we have is another Jusil S. So yeah, my bad, this is the Sonic Kong version and I believe this is the, cor the Cora version that's why it looks so much better and the problem with Sonic Kong is that the stickers just fall apart Here we have is a Johns S in red colour looks pretty sweet and it's basically a changing form step pretty sweet Here we have is a Johns V I believe this is the, the Cora version that's why it's looking kinda cool and last, last but not least, we have, um, yeah, you can see his name right there, Rapid Equal G, box number two. I hope you can see um, coalition here. If you can't, then you can't. Uh -huh. Starting off this second box, we have a Jala Dragon V in pretty, pretty good condition. Yeah, this is why it's in this box. This box is basically where I keep my good base. We have a Dragon V. As you can see, it's in really good condition. And here we have is a Jones G. Oh, that looks so good. I love this. Is the best G Bay in my opinion. And here we have is a Flash Leopard Tune. This Bay also looks very good. In pretty good condition. Here we have is a classic Bay, which is Pegasus, the blue one. And you could you get this. You don't even need a rip cord or I mean launcher to spin it. It's pretty cool. Here we have the another Dragon F. This time it's in good condition. As you can see, it's all white, not yellow this time. Here we have the Jigger S, a very classic game. And this is oh my god, we have Jones of GT right here. One of the new bays I recently got. I'm very proud to have this in my collection. And yeah, here we have the Dragon V2, looking pretty sick. And this is where I use one of the black discs from my Vortex 8 onto this bay definitely worth it and here we have is um the Takara version of Zeus yeah I was so lucky to even have this bay because it's pretty hard to find and expensive to buy here we have the Dragon GT I unboxed this on my channel so you can check out the video in the description so yeah here we have is the last bay to finish off is Jonzo F yeah. Box number three. So yeah, here we have some of the Metal Fusion Beyblades. This is um, Rapidity J Jupiter, because I couldn't get the original one. This is um, Thermal Pisces, Hasbro version. Here we have is Death Quetzalcoatl, the Takara Tomi version. Here we have is, uh, I think it's Giga Behemoth from the Zero G series, Takara. Here we have is Flash Sagittario almost got mixed up with flame, but yeah, Flash Sagittario. I'm missing the 230 spin track, so I'm using somebody else's spin track. Here we have is a customized bay of Earth Capricorn, it's pretty good. Here we have is another customized bay, as you can see, it's very, very short. It's supposed to be the shortest bay ever, so yeah. Here we have is Galaxy Pegasus, damn, that is kind of damaged. Here we have is Flame Bixus 23WD. 230, my bad. Here we have is the Hasbro Hollow Crap Phantom Ride. Here we have is Blitz Striker or Blitz in the corner, the Rapidity Fake version because I couldn't get the real. Here we have is a Rock, also very heavy bay or sort of bay. Here we have is a customized Rock Leon. Well, because I couldn't get the original one, so I have to set for this. Here we have is Grand Cetus, the black one. Pretty bad bay. I would recommend getting this. Here we have the customized bay. Yeah, it's 
pretty heavy metal face bolt and yeah cost my day here we have is evil be found i also unboxed this on my channel so link will be in the description if you want to check it out here we have is hades crown or hell crown he's from the metal fury series the game and booster packs in the Takara Japanese version. And here we have his Poison Serpent. Pretty bad baby, in my opinion, but looks nice. Here we have is a. Looks legit, but it's not. It's a Rapidity. Oopsie. Rapidity. El Drago Destructor or Destroyer. Here we have is Customized Bay number 700. And here we have is Storm Capricorn. With a performance tip to make this bad day even better. Here we have is Earth Virgo. It's got the metal balls. Here we have is Evil Gemios or Twin Gemios. If you want to call that. Here we have is Fake Rapidity Prototype Nemesis. Because the original one, you have to get it with a stadium, which is expensive. Here we have this Storm Aquario Classic Bay, one of my first ever bays. Here we have his Dark Bull, another classic Mount Fusion Bay. Here we have his Ray Stracker D125 Complete Shock. Here we have his Customized Bay 74. Here we have his Customized Bay 76 Storm Wolf. And here we have is Thermal Lacerto. Thermal Lacerto. Here we have is Cyber Pegasus. Cyber Pegasus. Here we have is, um, what the hell is this? Oh, Ray Pegasus. Yeah, that's it. It's a customized Blue Bay. Gravity Destroyer. One of the best bays in Metal Masters. Here we have is. Flame Sagittario. I'm missing the face bolt, so I replaced with a flash Sagittario face bolt. Here we have is Burn Fire Blaze, one of my favorite of all time bays because it's kind of sick. Good stamina as well. Samurai Pegasus, basically one of the best looking bays, but one of the worst. I don't know, not really worst, but it's got good attack, bad stamina. And here we have is Rock Zora. Here we have is. I don't know his name, but Berserker Behemoth. Box number four. Here we have his very Aries. Very Aries DD. Twisted Tempo 145 WD. This box is where I keep my best metal fusion Beyblade, so yeah, expect some good stuff. A Drago Destroyer or Destructor FS. Diablo Nemesis XD, one of the heaviest bays in Mock Fusion. This is the heaviest bay, my bad. And one of the beautiful bays, Flame Libra. Probably my favorite Mock Fusion bay. It looks so nice. Here we have is Beat Links. This is the Sonokon version. As uh, the Takara one gets in booster packs. And that's kind of hard to get. Cray Cygnus 1 for 5 WD. I love the light blue in this. Here we have his Big Bang Pegasus or Cosmic Pegasus FD. Phantom Orion BD Bearing Drive. Best stamina bait in the entire world. And here we have his Side Kronos T125 Eternal Shot. Here we have his Fusion Hades. It's got a rubber bomb part, which is kind of cool. Here we have his Earth Eagle 145 WD. This is the classic phase of all time. And this is where WT, WD, everything from. Here we have this Hades Carbex or Whole Carbex DS and BD15, I think. Oh, I could be wrong. Here we have is Fang Leon 130 W2 Squared D. Meteor El Drago. Best looking Metal Master base, A in my opinion. Here we have is the classic Storm Pegasus. Ooh, oh, don't you like the red part over there? And here we have is Landing Ultra. This one. Box number five. I almost forgot about this box, but yeah, here you have is Black Jonzo customized with a Sharpie. Here we have is 
uh, Vulcan Harusius in good condition. And here we have is Galaxy Pexis in very good condition. I don't think it has got one scratch. Here we have is the Lightning of Drago, the Hasbro Limited Edition that came with this Stone Pexis. So yeah, pretty bad condition. Here we have is Galaxy Pexis, the Hasbro Limited Edition as well. And here we have is Omega Dragonus, never before used, so it's in very good condition. Box number six. So here are my HMS bays. First we have Strada Dragoon HMS. Here we have is Dragon HMS. Here we have is Kenny's Bay Einstein HMS. Here we have is a White Dragon HMS. Here we have is Jusil HMS. I actually have two of these, but the other ones somewhere else. And here we have is Jonza HMS. My last HMS Bay and my favorite HMS Bay. Box number seven. So yeah guys, this is my last box. And here we have is Valkyrie Drive. Here we have is Zillion Zeus, another big emperor. Here we have is Death. Cypher, yes. Here we have is Kerberos LP, limited for us. Here we have this Wild Wyvern. Mm, I've got the bomb box called. Here we have is oh, Horusus. Ah, I forgot. Here we have is Odin, Obelisk Odin. That's it. Here we have is um, nah, Diablo. Mm, something. Something. Here we have this unicorn. What's his name? Here we have is Ragnarok. I think. The last base to finish off is oh my days! It is Xeno Excalibur. Hey guys, just to finish up, I would like to say if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And also have another big of eagle that is new in box that I have not opened so yeah if you like the video smash the like button and let's see if we can get 10 likes